so delighted to introduce our band to you tonight. All of them sing, all of them write, all of them play multiple instruments, and they're here this evening to introduce their music to you. Please welcome to the stage, Beautiful Kingdom. Yeah, I was literally born in Rock County. I was born in a farmhouse bathroom on the border with South Dakota. It's a really wonderful, supportive community. There's a lot of really supportive community people. So I grew up around a lot of people who were kind of like, yeah, come, come play your music at church. Come join this church band. There's a lot of church bands. I was born in Southern California and being here is really different, um, <laughs> but in a great way. You know, there's a lot of craziness in the world. And this, compared to all that, this is a safe haven. People here are so flippin' nice. <laughs> I'm from Montreal, Canada. Though I miss the forests around there, I really love it here. I've always wanted to live more in the country. Yeah, it definitely feels like a little paradise. It feels like there aren't distractions. We can focus on what we're about, what we want to bring. And uh, yeah, it's been very, very much like a a cocoon in a way. Oh, the moment that I came to realize that we are all made of love. Our band name is Beautiful Kingdom. I guess we'd like to bring uh, heaven onto earth. We'd like to make it the most beautiful place possible where love takes the lead a lot more. Yeah. yeah. It sometimes does in this world. We all play everything and we all sing. We all take turns singing lead and backing each other up. We all take turns supporting each other because we all write songs. We're just not afraid to jump on different instruments, even if they're not our main instrument. We get asked this question all the time, like, are you guys like a, are you a religious band or are you like a Christian band? The short answer is no, we don't play like religious, like worship music. That's, that's not what we do. But I mean, faith and God and love and all those themes are, are in our music. Whether you want to call that God or universal love, I'm not, I'm not going to judge on the words you use. Just, it's whether you believe in something greater than yourself and we certainly do. Yeah. It's not just about us. But there's definitely a, a mix in our shows of a lot of fun, a lot of high energy, and also a lot of heart-centered, emotional songs that um, I think anybody can relate to. I am filled with a joy without end, with a love that's without end. So let's cook a little something good. Yeah, you knew. It just makes me want to go back to my family and show them my love and what it is to be free. I've been playing music since I was young, but it took on a very different meaning as I got older because I dealt with a lot of years of really poor health. Bad enough that for a few years I wasn't really getting out of bed. Staircases were a huge thing that I only did very occasionally on good days. And so there was a time when music was it. I don't, I know that sounds cliche, but that was it. I was not leaving the house. I couldn't do anything. I really just 
watched TV, slept, and some days dragged myself to my piano or laid on my back with a baritone ukulele and wrote songs. When I was very sick, there was a period where Nadia was the one taking care of me because I hadn't come back home yet. I didn't have any family out there. Nadia was the one helping me, um, you know, cooking for me. And um, during that time, I didn't really see much of Tyler because he was elsewhere, but he was um, one of the only friends I had who hadn't just kind of gotten gotten tired of me being sick or every time I talked to him it'd probably be something like um, I'd say dude I really want to play with you but I don't know it's probably never gonna happen and he's like no you're gonna get well and he just didn't he didn't, he didn't quit believing <laughs> I would not me. accept that we will not be in a no. band together I refused no I remember it sometimes you two being like you know I just want to be well otherwise like this this is just too much this life and I'd be like but the mission but the music, we're, we're gonna do it. I know we're gonna do the music. There's a light in the window, secret song in the air, walking back through the snow. You promised to hold me, but you never told me that I would be doing this. Promise to heal me, but you're nowhere near me. It's time that I made this heart my own. I can't exactly put my finger on what each of us brings necessarily. I can point to it in certain ways, like if it's only two of us in a room, sometimes we'll end up making. Um, well, we have a term. Gumby, like when something's like kind of not so great or not as good as it can be, we Gumby say that it's Gumby. Gumby gives us something to rise above. That's what Gumby means. <laughs> and if there's only two of us in a room, sometimes we end up making a Gumby decision because the third one offers that additional perspective that makes mm. it completely whole. Um, it's like a triangle, you know. If you take away one corner of the triangle, it's not a triangle anymore. So I think today we're gonna do heart-shaped house. We're gonna do a guide track because that's how we get an awesome live feel to finish recording things. I'm incredibly grateful to be playing music with these two. They're very special people, and they're my best friends. Um, we're it's, family. Yeah, we're family. We're like a family band. Yeah, we're like a family band. But we really do see ourselves. We'd, we'd, we'd all love to make an impact on the world, help open people's hearts, and help people remember how beautiful life is, and precious, and uh, help people to be freer as well. We want to spread the love, essentially. If my heart was a house, you'd be invited and I'd be delighted to sing you to sleep inside. And I keep you so. Thank you very much.
Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 96.7cram.com. <laughs>